Hello there, this is Alex. Welcome to Oxford Book One Booktuber Contest. Today I would like to read your book, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is page 46 from chapter the last chapter 4, The Last of the Spirits. The mother and her daughters were making a small white curtain shirt together while the usually noisy young Cratchits sat silently in a corner and Peter was reading a book. Mrs. Cratchit put her work down on the table and covered her face with her hand. The colour hurts my eyes, she said. Oh, poor tiny Tim. They are a little better now, she went on. It's difficult to work by candlelight. And I don't want to show my red eyes to your father when he comes home. He's a bit late, said Peter, but I think he's walked more slowly these last few days, mother. They were very quiet again. At last, she said bravely, I've known him walk with, with tiny Tim in his arms, very fast indeed. So have I, cried Peter often. But he was very light to carry, and your father loved him so much. And there's your father at the door now. She got up quickly to keep his bath as he came in. He looked tired and thin and needed his long scarf for man. Martha looked, took his boots and scarf off, and Belinda brought him his tea, and the little practice sat close to him. He was very cheerful with all of them, and was pleased with the little shirt that his wife and daughters were making. It'll be ready for long before Sunday, won't it? he said. Sunday? You weren't there today then, Bob? asked his wife. Yes, my dear. You will love to see it. It's a beautiful green place. But you will see it often. I promised him that we would go there every Sunday. My little, little child, cried Bob, hiding his face in his hands. He had loved the boy very much. He went upstairs to, to the quiet bedroom where the child lay. Poor Bob sat down beside him, and when he felt calm, when he felt calmer, he kissed the little face and went downstairs again, almost happy. My dears, he said to his children, one of these days, some of you will marry and leave home. In a few years, time, perhaps all of you will. But I'm sure none of us will ever forget Tiny Tim, will, will we? Never, Father, they all cried. And I know, said Bob, that when we remember how patient and gentle he was, although he was only a little child, we won't argue among ourselves. We'll remember poor Tiny Tim and love each other. We will, Father! They all cried again. I'm very happy, said Bob. I'm very happy. Mrs. Cratchit kissed him. Daughters kissed him. Two young Cratchits kissed him. And he and Peter shook hands. Tiny Tim, your goodness lives on in your family. Spirit, said Scrooge, I know that you will leave me soon. Tell me who that dead man on the bed was. 